Well, here on The Fan, we got skills, or we are trying to get some, and today we have enlisted the help of Panthers co-captain and superstar halfback Nathan Cleary. Nathan, you are here because you are really good at something, at many, many things, and today it is forcing a goal line dropout with your incredible kicking game. So we'd love you to share with the fans at home, kids out there, it is a hard thing to master. Um, how much work are you putting into that every single week? Yeah, I put in a fair bit. I try to do um, kicking pretty much after every session. Um, I think when I first came to first grade, I actually wasn't that good at, at forcing goal and dropouts. It took a bit of getting used to, but, you know, a bit more experience and, and a lot of practice and, you know, you, you find different ways to do it. Yeah. Your coach, your dad, uh, mentioned that he, one of the first things he looks at after the game, determining how well the team played, is how you end your sets. Yeah. So there you go. It's all on your shoulders. It is so important to the result of a game to get this right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, obviously you want to kind of control field position and stuff like that, and, and the King game's a, lot, a big part of that. Um, and obviously if you can build a bit more pressure through um, repeat sets and stuff like that, it's a, it's, a, yeah, it's a valuable asset to the team. And as you said, you know, Dad uh, values that very highly. Yeah. Your kicking game, uh, it would have gone from strength to strength. As a little kid playing, I'm sure that, you know, you're not nailing it from day one. So what do you say to the kids out there that are, you know, doing kicking practice and are trying to, you know, learn the basics of, of having a really good kick in their game? Yeah, I think a lot of it's just not not overthinking it. Um, you know, I've always found kicking quite fun. I go down to the park, um, you know, by myself with my little brother, stuff like that, and, and just try to perfect the weight first, probably, just trying to, um, you know, kick it into the in goal over and over again. and and see what works and um, then you can try to, I guess, try and put shape on the ball and that. But, um, you know, I think it's just, yeah, I'll, I'll fell in love with it and um, just practicing it over and over again and you, uh, you start to know what works and stuff like that and then, um, you know, you just try to implement it into the game. So put us in the game day moment when, you know, the pressure's on, there are defence coming at you. Um, you know, what are you looking for? You know, what are the gaps? I'm, I'm assuming the gaps, but maybe you're not. Maybe you're looking for legs. Nah, a lot of the time it's, uh, you know, try to find a gap and I think the easiest way to do that is look like you're still running the ball and, you know, if you can kind of show a pass, it opens up the gap a little bit more and then just try to put it through there. Um, if there's no gaps, I usually just try and um, just put one over the top and, and uh, try to put it somewhere around the try line and make it a bit of a contest and if they do end up catching, you can probably drag them back and goal. So um, that's something that I guess um, I didn't always have. It's something, I guess, it came with experience and stuff like that, but... Um, you know, definitely not there yet. I'm still striving to be better, so, um, but they're the two main things. So, in a game game day moment, do you know when you've kicked a good one immediately as soon as it hits the boot? Or, you know, are you following it? Uh, yeah, I usually know, like, I suppose on a grubber, um, the first thing is if it, you can get it through without hitting legs and stuff like that, and if it gets through, um, you know, it's, it's the worst feeling in the world when you know you've kicked it too hard, then you're yeah. just hoping someone's chasing it hard. But, um, you know, when you've, when you've kicked it well, you, you usually know, and uh, especially on the chip kicks, so I usually, usually know on those ones. The way it hits the foot, is that important? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you, you want to keep your head over the ball and, and try to watch it onto your foot. Um, you know, I think if you can try getting the sweet spot, which is usually around the laces, um, that helps as well. And, you know, if you, if you don't strike it too well, who knows where it will go. All right. Well, you're doing something right, because I know you're going to say you don't really know, but you did lead the league in forcing goal line dropouts last year. So thanks to Nathan Cleary, invaluable insight for the fans out there, for the kids out there wanting to nail this skill. Thank you, Lara.